Hello humans, welcome back to my makeup room. My name is Martha and today we're gonna try and do drag makeup. Now, myself as a queer person and I'm of course obsessed with drag race and one of my favorites is of course Miss Trixie Mattel and she posts so many makeup videos and I especially love her new style of doing her makeup and it's very mod, very linear, and I'm gonna try and recreate it today. So, I'm gonna start by blocking out my brows. Now, Trixie doesn't really have a dedicated, Trixie doesn't really have a dedicated brow blocking tutorial, so I'm following a tutorial by Celine Bernert, and It seems very comparable, very comparable to all the other brow blockings I've seen with drag and drag videos. So, of course, I have my purple glue stick and we're just gonna dive right in. And while it dries, I'm just going to add a little bit of primer. This is my Bite Change Maker. Um, I just want to put a little base down for the foundation to stick to something. Okay, I'm gonna do it the good old fashioned Trixie licking of products. Mm, doesn't actually taste that bad, that's interesting. And now I have a little puff and some powder. Okay, now Trixie uses a relatively deep foundation for her skin tone, in my opinion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, my Born This Way foundation, because I think this is the most full coverage foundation I have, and I'm going to darken a little bit, because this is a very pale shade. So this is going to be darker than my skin tone, but it's going to be, I think, better, because... Trixie's makeup uses a lot of contours and highlights, and if I use my lightest foundation, I'm not going to be able to highlight it very much. Okay, 
the brow cover is not exactly on point. I didn't color correct it or put enough coverage on it. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take some MAC concealer in a deeper shade, put it on a little sponge, and just go over the top of the brow. Try and make it less obvious, and I think it might be working because this is more of an orange shade. I need some red ass lipstick. Okay, that's not looking so bad. All right, let's do another little layer here. And back in with the foundation. Alright, this Too Faced is not covering enough, so I'm going to add a little bit of my NARS uh, Natural Radiant Longwear. Because I know it's pretty full. Okay, that's just going to have to be it, because I don't think I have anything fuller coverage than this. Next, I have a NYX Gel Eyeliner in Jet Black, and we're gonna start sketching our wings. Wow, those are not symmetrical in the slightest. Like at all. How does she do this? Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, now we're gonna take a gray eyeshadow and pack it on our new pretend Whoa. lid.
Okay, now somehow we're gonna get a brow. Why is this eye so curved? I don't know how this happened, but it is. And I'm confused. Okay, she's drawing her brows on now. I'm gonna use my ABH brow powder. I've never drawn a brow, so we're gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna start with this light shade to sketch it out. Uh, All right, now she is taking a pale foundation and cleaning up under the brow, highlighting a little. I'm just using a concealer, Too Faced Born This Way, on a little tiny brush. uses a white gel liner. I don't have one, but I do have this white eyeshadow base and I'm thinking it's going to do about the same thing. We shall see. try and use like a paint kit and see if that is more white. No, everything is turning gray. Why is everything turning gray? Okay, white pencil liner. See what we can do with this. Let's start on the other side this time. Oh, okay, not so bad, not so bad. This side is wet, it doesn't like that. Okay, turns out, white eyeliner, very important step. Okay, let's see if I can... No, it's too creamy now, what the hell? Um, I'm gonna put more gray eyeshadow on. Or whatever, I'm gonna try and set this down.
Okay, listen, I tried to find that stupid NYX cream gel liner in the white shade, could not find it. I was on the NYX website, didn't exist. Okay, this is working better. Okay, we're filling in with the gel eyeliner now. The black one. Panic. Now it's time for liquid liner. So we're gonna use the liquid liner to clean up the edges, the tip and various other places. Oh fuck, the white was supposed to go all the way across? I did that wrong.
Okay, I have to set this liner with a black eyeshadow because it is creasing all over the dang place. Okay, uh, this is horrendous, but let's, let's finish the face. This is apparently the eyes done. No lashes yet. So I'm just gonna slap on some foundation. Okay, again, I don't have highlights that are, let's see, how light is this? Not super light on me. So I'm gonna mix concealer with a white concealer. See, you can barely tell. Maybe I'll just use white. Okay, we're going in. I think I now understand what she means by not having enough full coverage products. Okay. That was that. Now I'm going to contour. And I'm going to use a much smaller brush than Trixie does. This is my Huda Beauty Tantour. I have decluttered it, but I've been saving it for this specific occasion. Well, it is crooked at the bottom, but we're just gonna deal with it. Uh, for my highlight down my nose, I'm just gonna use this because clearly nothing else was working. Tiny powder puff. Okay, I think it's time to lose the hoodie. Okay. We've moved on. All right. Um, I haven't even taken one sip of my drink. Now I'm gonna brush off that bake.
Okay, now I'm gonna add some contour back in with powder. I have to do highlight too. Shit. Okay, I'm just gonna use the white eyeshadow because God knows I'm pale enough. Okay, I'm going to bronze and contour everything. Okay, now we just need a little bit of blush. Now Trixie tends to use like a peachy pink. So I'm just gonna add that above the bronzer. Okay, I'm gonna try and do a lip. Now Trixie has very voluptuous lips and I have little tiny lips. So this is gonna be tricky, but I'm gonna try. Peach. That's nipping. That's not what I want. That one's what I want. Am I beautiful? Okay, with the wig and stuff, it doesn't look as bad as it is. I mean. Fuck, I didn't even have to draw an eyebrows. Look, you can't even see them. Okay, up close, it looks absolutely horrendous. And my lips, I feel like an old hag, but okay, okay. With the hair, I feel like a wig fixes everything. Even this might be too small. No, it's not big enough. This is a tricksy look. We have to do blonde. I have to take off these lips. Oh my god, I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. There, not quite so big. They look very small now, but whatever. In hindsight, I would have lined them smaller on the top. Okay, this is the look. This is what we're doing. Face, I think I did okay. Eyes, terrible. <laughs> um, but this was fun to try. This took me so long. Well, actually, hour and 40 minutes, that's not too terrible. And basically, I used pretty well everything I already owned. Except for the gel eyeliner and my attempt at a gel white eyeliner. Apparently, in future, you really do need a white gel eyeliner. Let me know if you want to see me attempt to do any other crazy makeup looks. Let me know if there's any queens you want to see me do. Cause this was fun. I blogged out my brows, that was new. It's fun to try new stuff, even if it's not gonna be worn in real life. I will say my eyebrows are getting very itchy. 
and I need bigger lashes. These are pretty big, but <laughs> I just got these on sale. They're like, they are BH Take Me Back to Brazil SM401s. They were just on sale when I was making an order, so I threw them in the cart because they were huge. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. Ring the bell to become a Pavlovian dog. I'll see you next time. Bye.